In 1946, two American scientists named John W. Mockley and J. Presper Eckert gave technical leadership to a group which created a truly different approach to data processing. This amazing machine had 18,000 vacuum tubes. It could do 100 years of mathematical work in two hours. The only trouble was tubes burned out. This somewhat interfered with the 100 years' work being done in two hours. But this was the present state of the art. Eckert and Mockley's electronic brainchild was called ENIAC, or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. It was something to see. Under the supervision of Dr. John William Mockley, an associate professor of electrical engineering, Dr. Mockley experimented. But since he was not an electronics expert, he needed help. He found the right man a research associate named J. Presper Eckert. Together, Eckert and Mockley outlined an electronic computer that could, they hoped, perform at fantastic speed. Dr. Mockley was 38 years old. Mr. Eckert was 26. Design began in July 1943 with only 12 engineers. The electronic numerical integrator and computer as the first digital computer processed more information in 90 hours of successful operation than all of the information that was available from the time humankind first stood up and began to write and speak until 1946. Whatever became of Eckerd and Mockley, who started the whole business of electronic computers? Mr. Eckert, now a vice president of the Remington Rand Division of the Sperry Rand Corporation in New York City, is still searching for better and faster ways to solve problems for science and industry. Mr. Eckert remains closely associated with Dr. Mockley, a consultant with his own company, Mockley Associates, in Ambler, Pennsylvania. What are you working on now, Dr. Mockley? I'm working on what interests me the most of all, that is the computer as a tool. So...